For six and seven, these are the three straightforward questions. We're just putting them in y equals and finding the intersection. So um, you'll notice on both of these, one of them is already in y equals, the other one's not. So we'll need to do our shortcut to put this in y equals. So after the equal sign, before the number, we put the parenthesis. Then we do the opposite of x. So the opposite of positive x is negative x. So 4 minus x. And then we divide by the number in front of y. So right now, the number in front of y, it's, we know the coefficient's 1. And since you're subtracting it, it's going to be negative 1. Now, when you plug that in the calculator, this is a minus sign because you're subtracting 4 and x. So you're going to use the minus sign. But here, you're not subtracting anything. You're dividing by a negative 1. So be careful when you put this in the calculator. This should be a subtraction sign, and this should be a negative. All right, so I've already cleared it out in the calculator. And I'm going to put for y1 parentheses 4. This is a minus. Oops, can't even see it. So this is the minus sign. The negative is right here. Okay, so 4 minus x divided by negative 1. And then the next one, I'm just going to put 1 minus 4x. Hit graph. You should have two lines. If you don't, then we'll have to zoom out. We want to see them intersect. They do right there. So we can go through our steps. Second trace, 5. Enter, enter, enter. And 1, negative 3 is the correct answer. So remember to write your answer. You write it as an ordered pair in parentheses. So that's all we have to do for number six. Okay, if you want to, you can also go to your table. And if you go down to number one, they're both negative three at the same time. So there you go. All right. Uh, for number seven, the first one's already in y equals, so I'm just going to type that in, negative seven over three x plus 27. And then the next line, we're going to have to redo this one. So we'll put the parenthesis here. The opposite of x will be negative, so it'll be minus x. And then we're going to divide by positive 3, because that's what's in front of y. So, I got the wrong spot there, I'm sorry. Parenthesis, 9 minus x, divided by negative 3. Just kidding, positive 3. Okay. Hit graph. It's important that you show this part on your test because if you, let's say you plug this in like I did, I just accidentally put a negative 3 instead of a positive 3, that's going to give me the wrong answer. But if your teacher can see what you intended to type in, they can at least give you partial points for it. So make sure you show your work. Um, that way the te your teacher will know what you plugged in. All right, these do not intersect on our screen, so we need to zoom out. All right, I'm going to hit zoom, three, enter. We should be able to see them intersect. Did you know that because there's so many ants that live on the earth that the total weight of ants equals the total weight of people on earth? Interesting fact. Second trace, 5, enter, enter, enter. So we get 12, negative 1. So 12, negative 1. Make sure, again, you put that in parentheses because it is the order pair where they intersect. We look at our table. If we go down to 12, they should have the same number. Yep, negative 1, negative 1. 